honestly don't know if if words exist in the English language to properly explain what I'm about to talk about. Is it a movie? Is it a film? Is it a show? What is it? I don't know. That's right, everyone. I'm talking about the viewing. This is Panos Cosmatos' third film. Uh, if you could call it a film. It's a, it's a short film, I guess. Um, of course, the director of two of my favorite movies, Beyond the Black Rainbow and Mandy. Three for three on this guy. I'm not going to lie. Three for three on Cosmatos. Probably the best director of all time. Now, again, Kubrick. I love Kubrick, okay? So we'll see what Cosmatos can do, given a couple more films. But this fucking shit, I was doing some magic-ass mushrooms yesterday. I watched this shit. I was in, man. Three for three. I'm not going to lie. I was thinking to myself. I was thinking there's no way. There is no... I mean, this is like, you know, Cosmatos does like two hour movies. There's no way he can do a 50 minute movie and it's as good as Mandy. There's no way he can do a 50 minute film. It's as good as Beyond the Black Rainbow. Not going to happen. Can't. Well, I never, I, I didn't actually think that. I was expecting this to be, but I'm just saying like, no, this one, is it better? No, I don't think it's a horizontal thing here. That's the thing Liz. everything that Panos does is S tier. S tier. I mean, this is like. I've watched Beyond the Black Rainbow a couple times. I've watched Mandy like three or four times. Right? I've watched this once. I'm going to watch it again at some point. Wow. I mean, I, I don't even, like, I'm not even, I can't even review the movie. That, I mean, if I don't, what is there to review? You just have to watch it. As I said in my Beyond the Black Rainbow and my Mandy reviews, you just have to watch them. There's no, uh, <laughs> like, It's just, it's amazing. So, uh, this was part of the uh, Cabinet of Curiosities Netflix series from Guillermo del Toro. Uh, I haven't watched any of the other ones yet. Maybe I will. I'm not sure. Um, this is the only one going into it, uh, the list, you know. This is the only one I was interested in. A third Panos film. Holy fuck. So, this whole movie, right? I mean, <laughs> like, again, I was... I was on a lot of drugs watching this movie. And so this movie, I can confidently say, can be split into two parts. There's the drug party scene, and then there's the viewing. So it's called the viewing, right? So there's a rich guy, and he, like, asks for, like, artists. Like, one's an astrophysicist, one's a musician, an author, one's a psychic. And, um... He invites them to his secret compound, right? So they have to meet in like a parking garage and then be driven there. And uh, because he respects them as artists and wants their help to try to figure out what the, he like. He has some object. He doesn't know what it is. And he wants his artists because uh, these are the people he respects the most. He wants them to figure out what the fuck it is. Um. And so the first part of this movie is the drug scene. And again, we're talking like, like, okay, this is in the same sense. I want like this movie is descriptive of like how I would introduce a Panos Cosmatos film to another person, right? If I'm introducing Mandy or Beyond the Black Rainbow to another motherfucker, I'm like here, Take a couple inches of magic mushrooms, wait a couple minutes, and then let's watch the movie. That Every time I've introduced anyone to a Cosmatos film, that's been how I do it. That's And that's what this movie is. So this guy brings a bunch of his favorite artists to like a secret billionaire like compound, right? And then like feeds them a specific amount of drugs. Um... And, you know, there's, like, cocaine, there's, like, marijuana, there's cigarettes, there's alcohol, and it's very, very specific. Um, and then, you, you know, and he's peer pressuring the shit out of them because there's, like, a couple guys who are like, oh, I've never tried this before, I'm so nervous. And then he's like, no, you got to do it, motherfucker. So anyway, uh, so they all get hopped up on the super drugs, and that's the first half of the film. And then the viewing. So you got to be in the right state of mind 
And that's what this movie, it, this is what this movie's lesson is, is that there's certain ways to enter into an experience, right? Now, you can be lame and enter in an experience sober, like a loser, or you can be cool <laughs> and do some super cocaine <laughs> and then go look at this fucking rock, right? So anyway, so he gets them all hopped up on super drugs and then they go look at a rock. And he's thinking, so he's like a billionaire. He doesn't know what this fucking rock is. And he's like, maybe these guys will know. And uh, and so they get in there. One of them is like, the astrophysicist is like, this is like a material we've never seen on Earth. And then the psychic guy is like, oh, I'm getting some crazy shit here. And then there's like an author who's like, he's like calling this out. He's like, oh, this is a bunch of bullshit. I don't care. Thanks for the super cocaine. That was cool. But I love that guy. <laughs> that guy was great. He gets his head blown up by by the power. I don't want to exp like, If you let me spoil this, by the way, I, I mean, I should have said spoiler alert, but I mean, I don't even know. Like, can I spoil this? I can spoil the plot maybe, but like, is that, you can't really spoil a Panos film. Like, okay, here's the spoilers for Mandy. Nicolas Cage gets pissed and goes to kill a bunch of Cenobites. Spoiler. No, that's not a spoiler. Go watch the fucking movie. You got to watch the goddamn movie. So anyway, so they go in, they see this rock and then, you know, something happens and then boom. I mean, look at the title. Something happens there. Uh, wow. I mean, just this movie and all of Cosmatos' movies, you got to watch them. You got to watch them. But I'm, hey, I don't want to sit here and tell you to do drugs because that's wrong. That's illegal. Unless you live, look it up. If you live in the United States, look up list of cities that have decriminalized magic mushrooms and other psychedelics. Colorado just voted statewide to decriminalize magic rush mushrooms. Oregon uh, has decriminalized magic mushrooms. Uh, cities in the state of Michigan have decriminalized magic mushrooms in the state of California. Massachusetts. I'm just saying, throwing that out there. So if you go to those cities, it's no longer illegal. And then you can do whatever you want. Like, watch this guy's movies, right? So I'm just saying. Um, but um, the thing I like about this movie is it places emphasis on, like, the mindset when you enter an experience, right? Like, I... And that's, like, I love that. Like, whenever, like, if I'm showing someone a movie, like, you know... Uh, like, I've shown people Mandy before, and it's like, you know... Here's your here's your super drugs. Wait a couple minutes, let them kick in, and then we'll watch the movie. You know, like, and it's just great. I love that theme. I love the idea. And the art, right? Like, this guy, I don't even know what to say. I'm a fangirl. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a fucking mega fan. I'm like, I'm a super fan. I'm a mega hyper ultra fan of this motherfucker. Three for three. They're all bangers. Right? I'm excited for Necrocosm, which is going to be his next film. But, I mean, it's just so good. Like, one of my favorite parts of this movie is how the lights, every light in the movie is like a huge horizontal line. Every light in the movie the whole time is a giant horizontal line that takes up most of the screen. And I love it. I love it. The lighting. God, the lighting. I love it. I love it. The room that they're sitting in. When they do the super drugs, oh, with that weird, like, fucking sound thing in the ceiling, oh! It was all so good. I mean, the visuals, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 on the visuals. The music, 10 out of 10 on the music. I, I don't even, like, that's the thing is, like, this guy's movies are so good that, like, a 10-point scale is doing it disservice. Oh, 10 out of 10. What? Really? That's it? Like, this guy's movies are so good that we need to reinvent what a scale would be to rank a movie. We need to reinvent it. We need to come up with another system. Like, I want to just say, like, knee-jerk, 11 out of 10. But that's a band-aid solution. Like, you would need to invent a new language to pro- and- and- work really hard like like you know that movie arrival with the aliens and how they have that new language and shit you need to create like a language like that or something to properly encapsulate how good this fucking goddamn movie is and how all of this guy's movies are my god man like i'm telling you i was fucked up like so the first half of the movie is just like drug propaganda right like 
Like they're passing around, like you know. So they get into this this guy this rich guy's place, and they're waiting for him to get ready. Uh, but like at the table are all of their favorite drinks, right? Because like he like he's like a super fan, like the billionaire guy is like a super fan of these guys' art or whatever. And so I guess he's followed them to the point where like you know they may have said, oh my favorite drink is this in an interview or whatever. So anyway, all of their favorite alcoholic beverages are there, and like the best part about it, one of my favorite parts. Is like each one they have like a super specific alcohol, right? And then the British guy is like, "Oh, an ice cold beer! How refreshing!" Like everyone else is like going into de uh, in depth detail about their favorite alcohol and how like specific it is and how the billionaire got it right and how did he do that? And then the British guy is like, "Oh, a refreshing beer!" Like I interpret that as like Cosmatos thinks beer is annoying and that beer is not worth learning about like this motherfucker had like a fucking two minute long monologue to introduce like the whiskey like it fell off of a plane in world war ii or some shit and then like it floated in like the fucking gulf or some shit happened whatever right and it's like oh a beer <laughs> and he d and like that's it like everyone else is like describing it in depth and then and then they introduce the the like the super epic whiskey and then like the 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 cocaine. I love the cocaine scene where they're passing around the cocaine. Fuck, man, that was cool. Uh now I've never done cocaine, but I love like the the visuals cuz I was really high on on mushrooms. I don't even know if if high is not a, a good word to describe for mushrooms in my opinion, but and so when they like were passing the cocaine around and like, I love seeing the powder fluff into the air. It was great. It was a really cool effect. Uh, that combined with the horizontal lighting, very nice, very enjoyable. Um, and just like the depth of the super drugs and the descriptions of them, I enjoyed. So anyway, then they're sufficiently fucked up and they go look at the rock. And then it's like, the rock is just cool as fuck. Like, it's some highly detailed, like, like, it reminded me of, like, some, like, you know, ancient, like, Chinese, like, totem or some shit. Like, it was just, like, an extremely uh, detailed rock. And, uh, and it's just, like, they're all, like, whoa! And then, and I don't want to tell you the ending, but the ending, yo, okay. The ending, when, like, the nerdy astrophysicist, who's my favorite character, by the way, the, like, super nerd who like loves drugs well she was like a little nervous for the cocaine but like i love the idea of a super nerd who does drugs so that's me that's my that's my personality type um but when she's fucked up on the cocaine and she's driving that like sports car at like 200 miles per hour that was really cool and then like it like the and then when the other guy in the fucking passenger seats like mouth is going like, like i love that shit man this movie was great you gotta watch the viewing you gotta watch it but before you watch the viewing Watch Beyond the Black Rainbow, watch Mandy, and then watch The Viewing. That's like a five-hour experience there. How long is the average Magic Mushroom experience? About five hours. So, hey, I'm just saying, just throwing it out there. If you want to have a good time, you know, I don't even know what to say. Three for three, six for three, 12 for three. This guy has made three movies, and they're all good. Not, they're not all good. They're all perfect to the point where we need to create a new language to describe just how good they are. I don't even know what to say. Like, I like Kubrick films. I think Kubrick films in, in the artsy department, like, you know, really high art value in that sense. This is like, this is like a modern version of that but way better like i don't even know what to say like the idea that i could be living my life for like another 20 to 30 years and that this guy could be making movies for that entire time jesus christ man like if i were to tell you my favorite movies mandy is on that list one of the best movies i've ever seen if not the best now again my favorite movie is the muppet movie and that's just because of nostalgic reasons but if i were to give you an honest like what is the best movie i've ever seen not just my personal favorite Mandy. Mandy is the best movie I've ever seen. But then I'm like, wait a second, what about Beyond the Black Rainbow? Because everyone's seen Mandy. If you haven't seen Mandy, you're a fucking idiot, right? It's got Nicolas Cage. What about Beyond the Black Rainbow? So, like, the hipster in me wants to say Beyond the Black Rainbow. They're both so fucking good. And then now I'm going to tell people you got to watch the viewing. Holy fucking shit, man. 
this guy, I don't even know what to say. Like this is more like this, this video that I'm making right now is less of a movie review of the viewing and more of just like me being a screeching fangirl of the director. Like Jesus Christ, this guy is amazing. Like this guy, like, wow. Like, I, I, I don't know, man. I, I, I'm going to tell you this. I like, it takes a lot of effort to turn me into a fangirl. Okay. I'm telling you this guy, I'm telling you, if you have not seen Panos Cosmatos works, you got to like, that's it. That's, but again, as if you watch the viewing, as you would know, watching a movie sober. Now, again, if you're, if you're one of those people, that's fine. It's all good. You, it's better to watch the movie sober than not at all. That said, mushrooms, man, I'm telling you, or any other psychedelic, I'm just saying, like, Beyond the Black Rainbow, Mandy, The Viewing, watch them all in one setting. I might watch them all in one setting at some point. Um, I, like, when, whenever this series is released in physical media, I'm going to buy it just for this. I might never even watch the other Cabinet of Curiosities, to be honest. Maybe I will. I'm not sure. But the viewing, I'm going to buy this on physical media, wherever it is, however it's released. This is a must own. You have to have it. You have to have Mandy. You have to have Beyond the Black Rainbow. It's that simple. You have to watch it. There's no option. You are not a human being. You're not a complete human being until you've seen those fucking movies. Man, I don't know what to tell you. In fact, I'm about to stop the stream and go watch them all again right now right now they're that good they're that good i don't know what to tell you i really don't i have nothing to say there's no like once again there are no words in the english language that could properly encapsulate how good this is like you would there's no words in any human language not only not only i will tell you this not only would we have to create a new language to be able to properly properly encapsulate how good this guy's art is but we we would have to create like like you know like cyberpunk you know we'd have to create like cybernetic like body enhancements because like the way our bodies are designed with the mouth the tongue the teeth and the throat and and the vocal cords is not enough possible you know variation uh you know we need to create an entirely new like system of physical body that could create a multitude of different sounds and then combine those sounds into another language just to be able to describe how good this movie is because there's no there's no other way to do so you just can't and anyone who's seen it especially anyone who's seen it while you're tripping you would agree with me i'm just telling you you might not know what i'm talking about right now you know go get yourself some fungus watch this guy's movies come back to me post in my chat hey andrea just watched mandy on mushrooms you were right that's all i need to hear hey just watch the viewing on mushrooms wow i agree with with whatever you just said completely that's the only way you're gonna know I don't know. Beyond, don't forget Beyond the Black Rainbow. Because that movie's good as fuck, too. They're all good. Now, again, I love Nicolas Cage, so I might say I like Mandy more. But then again, the hipster in me is like, no, they're all just, they're all perfect. They're all perfect. This guy, you gotta, you gotta pay attention to Cosmatos. I'm telling you this right now. You gotta pay attention to Cosmatos. You just have to. This is the best active director. You know, I love Christopher Nolan. I love Inception. I love Tenet. I love all of his movies that I've seen. Cosmatos, it's another level. I'm telling you this. Inception is an excellent movie. Top five of my favorite movies for sure. But you want to know what's above it? You want to know what else is in the top five? All three of Cosmatos' movies and the Muppet movie, motherfucker. That's what else is in top five. So, you know, I'm just like... I don't know. I think I've I think I've gone on enough. But if I haven't properly explained why you need to see these films, you are a lost soul, motherfucker. You got to watch this movie. So, the viewing, man. Holy shit. Anyway,